Leaders of the communist world meet in Warsaw to sign the treaty which is their answer to NATO. The Soviet Premier Bulganin is prominent on the platform when the delegates show themselves to Warsaw's thousands. China's Defence Minister Ping Teihui and Russia's General Zhukov are there too, clapping and being clapped. Polish Premier Sorankiewicz tells of the new military and political treaty while General Peng listens. China is not actually a member of this communist NATO, and Eastern Germany is left out for the time being like an ace up the sleeve. An ace to be played with caution, for the people of East Europe have long memories of German behavior. Now Bulganin answers the question all are asking, who is to be GOC of the joint forces of Russia, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Bulgaria, Romania and Albania? It is Marshal Konyev, much decorated veteran of the Second World War, who will command the combined armies. This joint command merely acknowledges the existing setup but the communist powers want to show that they too can negotiate from strength. The communists declare they seek nothing but peaceful coexistence. Deeds, not words, will show whether the communist leaders are sincere. While being ready to examine any practical overtures the East may make, the West must at all times maintain its own strength as long as the possibility of aggression exists. Only thus can we safeguard that peace for which the peoples of the world are longing.